Kurt Moreland, associate publisher with Incident Prevention. We are live at the IP Utility Safety Conference at the Renaissance in Glendale, Arizona. We're having a great conference. It's been a lot of very busy, a lot of energy in the hall. Last conference, we did what's new in FR. Now we're going to do what's new in tools on the show floor. So I'm here at the Safety Rack booth. I'm with Joe Bradbury. Joe, tell us what you're displaying here. Hi, how you doing, Kurt? Uh, this is actually a very exciting product that we released in June. Uh, this is our M18 motor drive unit that's powered by a 18 volt Milwaukee battery. What this actually does is it's different from our other product is this is a high torque, high power motor that allows us to remotely rack up to 150 feet away very heavy load breakers, and particularly this was designed for the vertical lift breaker, the Magna Blast, the 5 kV and the 15 kV. So this, this uh, bracket here mounts on the Gen 4 existing motor mounts, plugs into, the, plugs into the breaker, and then with the motor, it sits inside this ring set right here, and it, all of it can be racked in about two or three minutes. Does this help reduce arc flash? Absolutely, absolutely. We've been doing this for 20 years, and although we have had some incidents, none of it's been because of our tools. Our tools actually help mitigate arc flash and put the user, uh, like I said, up to about 150 feet away. So when that incident does occur, they're absolutely a safe distance. They don't get any of the shock, they don't get any of the flame, any of the, any of the danger. Thanks for being here, Joe, and telling us about your product. Hi, Kurt Moreland, continuing my tour of what's new in tools on the expo floor. I'm here with Peter, and uh, he's got a new tool organizer here. Peter, please tell us about it. Yes, um, this new apron was designed to help manage the new tools that people are carrying. A lot of people have now gone to more battery stuff, so this is a spot for an impact gun. Um, we have a spot now holder for the inline cutter or crimper. Um, we've added magnets in the base of this pocket so that it can actually hold a lot of the um, sockets. That's cool. Yeah, um, we've actually then added another pocket for the short hot stick and then offset the hammer loop so that people can now access it a lot easier. Um, then we can actually have accessories with the magnets to go ahead and hold nuts, bolts, and washers. Um, and then just put all these tools back in front of the person so it makes it a lot more user friendly. Sounds good. Thanks for being an exhibitor. It looks like you guys have put a, a lot of thought into this product. Yes, thank you very much. Kurt, continuing my look here at new and innovative tool products here, and I'm at the Utility Solutions booth, and I'm with Aaron Wood. Aaron, tell me about this stick here, and especially these bristles up here. What do they do? It's been getting a lot of attention today here at the, at the trade show. This is our Blue Stripe telescopic stick. Our new Take Apart line that we launched a few years ago uh, has really done very well for us. This product is a unique um, manufacturing process. We wind these sticks. Uh, they hold up very well during testing. They hold up to the rigors of overhead work. And this new tool is called the Fuzzy Finger. When you want to take down a fuse barrel from a great height, these bristles give you one more chance before you get a headache. Uh, so this has been a really good tool. The other products that we're demoing here today are our new addition to our trainer line, and this is an underground grounding board. Um, John Spencer is here with us demoing lots of tools like this. Um, what this tool can show us is what happens during a fault for an underground crew. Uh, pressing that button introduces a fault, um, and then crews can work our iPad and see what the dangers are for linemen. Sounds good. Really appreciate you guys being here. And thanks for telling us about what you guys are exhibiting here today. Okay, so when you think about tools, a new tool, new technology is drones. So we have new exhibitor, Full Premier here, and we have Will Schlaw, and he's gonna tell us about how he's using drones as tools to help increase safety and help the line process. Great, thank you. Yeah, my name's Will, I'm representing Full Premier. Uh, we're happy to be at the IP Safety Conference today for the first time. Um, proud to showcase our heavy lift drone and aerial robot. This is the Mini Line Fly. Its purpose and our purpose as a company is to replace uh, traditionally hazardous operations in the in the power line environment with automated, unmanned uh, aerial robotics and uh, and. Uh, heavy lift drones there. So we offer a number of different applications. Uh, this one in particular it installs bird flight diverters. We have a couple other uh, exciting projects on the go, one of which 
uh, installing uh, dual line spacers, uh, lead line stringing, and also the installation of fire mitigation wrap for wood poles. So uh, yeah, like uh, like Kurt said, we're we're excited to bring this this new technology on and uh, offer its its uh, safety enhancements to the power line industry. Yeah. So rather than extend a bucket extremely high up in the air, this is an alternative. Right. Yeah. That sounds great. Well, thanks for being yep. here. Uh, tell tell us how people can get a hold of you to learn about this new technology. Sure. Thank you. So you can get a hold of us by visiting our website, fulcrumair.com. So Kurt Moreland, continuing my search for new and innovative tools here at the IP Utility Safety Conference. And I have Maddie Tool, I have Ralph Stinson. And uh, Ralph, thanks for being an advertiser. Okay. You, got, you. you got your good looking ad in our October issue here. We do, we do. We're proud of it. Thank you. So let's focus on, you got a lot of tools here on your table, but let's focus on three of the newer ones here. Tell me about this uh, latch right here. Okay, this is this is our, our bucket hook. It actually hangs on the bucket, and it's got a safety latch to it to keep things from falling off the end of it. We've made the paddle wide so that with your rubber gloves on, you could actually open this up, and then this tapered here for your blanket so you don't bust the holes open in the blankets. So this is a, a feature that keeps people on the ground from getting hurt. And this holds the buckets and you can do, put a nose bag on it or your, your rubber blankets. Now the next thing on the table looks like a big can opener to me, but I understand it helps reduce back injuries. It does. And this is our new pad mount lid lifter. It, and uh, basically what this does is we open this up like so. This goes in the handle as you lift the transformer lid. This is a hundred pound magnet and I'll demonstrate this by showing you that it goes right up against the, the transformer lid. And as this lid is 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 as this is on the, the lid of the pad mount you actually can lift it. And if you have a little problem you need to open it up, this actually extends out to give you more leverage. That sounds good. Now the final tool on your table here uh, I believe is a knife, but it's got uh, uh, some bristles on it. What is? What are the bristles there for? Okay, this is our this is our uh, BB2S. This is actually a skin and knife that has wire brush attached to it. Uh, you can open it up, and once you open it, you can. This is this is the safety blade. This is this is blunted here on this end, but yet the blade is recessed so that you avoid cuts. And we also have three other knives that are like this also. And the bristles are for? And the bristles on this backside is for wire brushing. In other words, if you have to make a connection, we, we suggest that you close this, take your wire brush and wire brush it to make a good connection. And the wire brushes on this are also replaceable. That's awesome. Well, thanks for being a, an exhibitor and being an advertiser. And I've been watching your company grow over the years, as you know, since I first saw you guys at a yeah. first trade show. And you guys have, have, have really done a great job. We have, and we appreciate all the customers out there, too. Thank you very much. So we've got all kinds of tools here on the IP Utility Safety Conference floor. And now we're going to be taking a look at a larger tool. We've got new exhibitor Ruthman Reachmaster, and they've brought this unit. I understand that you guys have had some good success promoting the safety. This is this is not an insulated unit, but it is being used to help do projects around like substations in particular. So the difference with this particular these units is that they are on tracks, which gives us the ability to go over different surfaces like rock, gravel. And in the past where other units were not able to do this, this unit does this. This particular unit has outriggers. We also have self-leveling units without outriggers as well. And what we have found that in the substation application where in the past people have used ladders and scaffolding, that this is a safe replacement for that. And they come in different models. We have, this is a 26 foot unit, and we also have a 33 foot unit and different uh, models with engine options as well. Electric, gas, diesel, and uh, the 
Yeah, that sounds good, Mr. Paper. And I was going to say, like, to really focus in on these tracks, because normally we can't bring units like this into the show floor. But because you guys have a very kind of a soft rubber track, you were able to bring this unit in. I think that's one of the features that makes your unit uh, very usable. Exactly. And then also the great thing about this unit is that the tracks are retractable. So they go in, in and out. So if you get into a tighter area, you can pull in the tracks. And once you get to where you want to go, you can extend the tracks back out. And it also has foldable rails. So if there's a height restriction or anywhere you need to go, you're able to collapse the rails as well. That sounds great. Well, thanks for being in a new exhibitor with us and bringing this new and innovative product to our attendees' attention. Well, thank you very much. It's been a great show for us. Glad to hear that. Hi, Kurt, continuing my look at tools and tool-related products here at the IP conference. And I'm at the Buckingham booth, which has been a longtime advertiser, exhibitor, and sponsor of our keynote breakfast. I'm here with Tom Savala. And Tom, I noticed you have some tool organizers over here, but you also have a new tool organizer here to show us. Yeah, so uh, Tom Savala, I'm the Western Territory Manager for Buckingham. Um, as you know, Buckingham is always trying to drive this industry when it comes to innovation and design, taking um, taking suggestions from the field and actually coming up with products and and uh, and making the making the folks happy. So, um, one of the one of our newest uh, products right now is called our Bucket Rail System. All right, so this is a completely customizable tool board. So basically, this guy right here is kind of cool because it would actually. Uh, wrap uh, around the inside of a bucket, right? So uh, inside of the corner of a bucket. So we we have this guy right here, which is our flexible board. We have a high density plastic board, and then we would have a fiberglass board as well. And you order the uh, the attachments, and then you organize the attachments as you as you would like or as you would see fit. So if you don't like the the location of some of these guys, you can just pop them off, put them on in other locations. Uh, it makes a completely customizable board. Uh, for your bucket so and and how do you how do you pop them off and pop them on are they on like a velcro or a button yeah, so they're actually on some clips right now and i would take that guy off just like that right take it off and then i would just put it back on you know wherever i would like right so i could it's completely customizable and it's actually a pretty cool deal that sounds good well thanks again for being a great advertiser exhibitor and sponsor Thank you very much for having us at IP. We look forward to Schaumburg in the spring. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Hi, Kurt Moreland, continuing our search here for new and innovative products. Now, I'm familiar with the Alumagear uh, halo lamp for um, the helmets. However, at our conference, they're introducing a new detector for energized lines, and I'm going to hand it over here to Matt Squires, and he's going to tell us about it. Hi, yes. So this is our Sixth Sense device. It's a personal voltage, current, and fall detector. It's designed to fit on any standard hard hat via our universal hard hat clip. And so what this does is it provides the lineman, in, in this specific case, the electrical worker, a, an ability to sense an electromagnetic field or an energized line. So as you approach that energized source, the device will um, detect and give that user an audible and visible alarm. So as you can see here, as you approach that source, it gives you that uh, full alarm. And what's unique about Sixth Sense is that it can also integrate into our flagship product, the Halo SL. So you can see here, Kate, it's actually integrated into the light. So now for that lineman, he's gonna have his PVD and his uh, hard hat light available for storm duty and trouble work. Hi, Kurt Moreland, continuing my search for new and innovative products. You know, you also use tools for confined spaces. And I'm here with Pelsu. I've worked with Pelsu for a long time. And uh, they're here showing a new product called the Lifeguard, right? And I'm here with uh, David Hartman. David, tell me a little bit about this. Thank you, Kurt. The Pelsu Lifeguard System is our flagship confined space protection system. This is a three-in-one system that provides fall protection, rescue and retrieval, and barricade all in one. The Lifeguard System provides anchorage points for our hoists as well as self-retracting lifelines. And it also incorporates a barricade to prevent slips and falls into the confined space. The lifeguard system is a two-part system that collapses. It is easily carried by one person and deployed by one person. And it is proudly made in Inglewood, Colorado at our facility. 
Now, one of the things that I remember is that you also can attach this to a tra to a trailer hitch, or I mean a pickup hitch for more security. Actually, that is part of our uh, system over here, Kurt. So we do have a vehicle hitch mount system over here. This is a Davit system that will mount into a receiver on your vehicle and is basically a, a does not incorporate the barricade as the lifeguard system does, but this is a retrieval system for entry and an easily deployed system that you can hook up to a vehicle. Hi, Kurt Moreland, associate publisher with Incident Prevention and Utility Fleet Professional. And I'm here with our back cover advertiser for Utility Fleet Professional, Terex. And it's great to have Terex here as an exhibitor at the IP Utility Safety Conference. I've got Greg Adler here. Greg, you're you're talking about auger safety. Correct. So again, we're, we're going with some big tools here too. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are displaying here. Thanks, Kurt. So today what we're displaying is the hollow Kelly bar. So most of the linemen, what they use is uh, you have the <clears throat> all-in-one, this one is the all-in-one combination which is instead of using a solid Kelly bar, it's a hollow Kelly bar. So what's a hollow Kelly bar? So the hollow Kelly bar is actually the bar that goes into the auger. And if you want to do a screw anchor, instead of using the locking dog assembly in a square bar, you just, when you pull out your, your hollow Kelly bar, it's all you need to do is put your anchor, screw anchor inside the hollow Kelly bar. You don't need the locking dog, the square bar, which is over a, a hundred pounds approximately. It just helps you on the ergonomics of uh, putting everything on a solid Kelly bar by just using by the hollow Kelly bar. It's really a good product. It's a, it's a product that alignment would really, I think, uh, uh, be proud of to be able to use it and it'll save them on the ergonomics and the, and the, the wear and tear of their body of all the weight putting on when they're putting a screw anchor. So a hollow Kelly bar is just the way to go throw out your other your locking dog assembly use a holly Kelly bar make your day easier and safer job thank you greg that sounds fantastic thanks for covering another area of safety and uh i can tell the exhibit hall is about to get busy so i'm going to let you go i think they're getting out of class and the exhibit hall is going to get busy so thanks again for being here all right so kurt moreland continuing my journey through the expo hall here. It's getting busy. Obviously the classrooms are out and they're funneling into the exhibit hall here. And I'm with line work bucket products. I got Landon D's here. It looks again, we're talking about tools this time around. And it looks like you've got a good tool organizer product here for the bucket. Yeah, Kurt, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you taking a little bit of time with us today. We got uh, the four in one tool organizer. It helps uh, promote hydration. It gives the guys an opportunity to get the cup out of the the control guard. It also has these extra large hooks that help uh, give the guys more options to hang items on the on the four in one tool. Right here we have the big rack tool organizer. It's a it's an organizer with five hooks, stationary hooks that have extended uh, flat surface uh, long edged uh, hooks on it. It's got the dowels on the end so you can have your nut runner and your hammer in a stationary position. A quick easy. Uh, uh, point of access. We also have our own hooks. They're rated at 100 pounds, working load limit. And we also have the uh, clip-on cup holder that goes on the control guard. So we're here uh, trying to promote a more productive, more efficient, uh, safe work environment up in the aerial construction uh, world. That sounds great. I even noticed you got a spot for the chainsaw too, to keep the, the blade covered. Is this your first time being an exhibitor here? Uh, yeah, Kurt, this is our first time at the IP here in uh, Arizona, and we look forward to coming back again. This has been a fantastic expo and uh, convention. I appreciate the, the invite. You bet. Thanks for being here. Kurt here. Uh, we're at a couple of our final stops on what's new with tools. And I've got Laura here, and she's with the first power group. And Laura, tell us, what do we have here? This is a really interesting looking product. You got me... You got me interested. You're excited, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the Stinger, and it is a safety tool. It's great for stuck switches or hot spots. Okay. It's made of dielectric material and tested up to 250 kV. Uh, we have our penetrant here. As you can see, it's threaded, which is for safety, so you can't just put anything inside this tool and spray it. 
It has a GoPro camera so you can see. It's remote control operated. Here's the remote via radio. Put it on the hot stick, lift it up, press the button, spray all moving parts, or 30 minutes later, it opens. Now, if it's really stuck, nine years, something like that, you might want to leave it overnight, but the next day it's going to open for you. You know, that's really interesting. So this is something that goes on the top of an insulated uh, hot stick yes. on the stick. And uh, yeah, that's uh, it's very interesting. So that this basically helps lubricate parts that are rusted because of the elements. They, they're having a tough time getting them off. Yeah, it's a penetrant. So it breaks all that stuff down. It makes it easy to open. It also helps with um, injuries because you're not pulling as hard on the switch. It should be reducing the amount you have to pull by about 50%. Any of us who's ever tried to get a rusty bolt off knows that that helps reduce injuries for sure. Thanks for being with us, Laura. Thank you. Okay, folks, we're here at the Incident Prevention Utility Safety Conference in Glendale, Arizona for November. And uh, it's been a great show. Recommend everybody that has anything to do with safety participate and be a part of this wonderful event. But real quick, I'm gonna go over our 3 kV power supply, which is gonna take the place of my handheld power supply, which when I was in Iowa, the folks in Iowa had to take it. They didn't let me have it in my traveling toolkit, so I don't have it. So anyways, the 3 kV power supply will be similar. So when you, when you test your tester, if you do not have a live known voltage source to test your tester prior to use, because a battery test does not test the tester, on a live mode voltage source, you want to go ahead and just do a quick test on our 3 kV power supply. The handheld power supply is going to show about one and a half or 1500 volts, and that's what you use. So, if you're testing your tester, you need to have a live mode voltage source. If you're working storm, if you're working line restoration, and you do not have a live mode voltage source, then here you go, right here. Handheld power supply or 3 kV power supply. You all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Kurt Moreland, Associate Publisher of Incident Prevention. I sure hope you've enjoyed this tour of what's new in tools. This has just been a sampling of our 80 different vendors, exhibitors here at the show. We've had record attendance and we've had a lot of energy here. We're looking forward to carrying that over to the Renaissance in Schaumburg, Illinois, May 9th through the 11th. Schaumburg has a lot to offer. Woodfield Mall, it's conveniently located by O'Hare Airport. A lot of great things to see and do, so hope to see you there.